Hi there, and welcome to yet another test I did of a trading algorithm. This time I was tipped off by a Patreon community member named Diego. He was pointing me to this strategy that is called the Machete strategy. And if you thought I went out with a banger algorithm last year, then believe me if I say that you also really want to try this out yourself too after this video. For this year I want to test out more strategies that are proposed by community members or YouTube comments. And this one was actually the first one of the bunch that I tested. This frag trade strategy called Machete version 8B is a complex and comprehensive algorithm designed for cryptocurrency trading. I call these complex algos black box algos, because only the developers knows which ideas lie exactly after each rule they coded. And especially if they do not leave any documentation in their code for themselves or other developers. Now of course I could put a lot of effort and time into reverse engineering all the code, but I first wanted to try out if the algo performs well before investing any energy into it. Only after I know it's worth my time, I will take more time to figure things out. Nonetheless, with the help of a friend of mine, we took a high level view of the code to see what is the general idea of this strategy. Now let's first start by opening the code from this github directory. And in the code it's not shown who the author is, so I cannot give him or her the credits he or she deserves. But you can always give a start to the repo where you found this, so uh, just to show your appreciation. Now let's break down its key components to understand the strategy. Here we have the indicator libraries. Uh, the strategy imports various technical analysis libraries like uh, TALIB, Vinta and other custom indicators from the technical package. And these libraries are used for calculating technical indicators later on. These here are the uh, boolean parameters true-false uh, that indicates whether a specific buy signal should be used or not. And this modular approach allows toggling different buy strategies on and off. This section here is uh, similar to the buy parameters. It includes various settings where for when to sell like a conditions based on the rate of change, time and other things. Here is the ROI table, which specifies the return of investment at different times, where the bot should take profit. And this here is the stop loss setting, which sells if the bot has detected a 10% loss on the trade. This strategy also uses dynamic ROI and custom stop loss settings. Here the strategy uses uh, the custom stop loss to optimize uh, trade exits and this adds flexibility of realizing profits and limiting those losses based on market circumstances. The multiple methods here by the buy trend determination section, like the get buy signal also MACD and the ADX momentum, define the criteria for buy signals. And these methods uh, use a variety of indicators, uh, such as MACD, ADX, RSI as you can see, to determine optimal buying points. The, the final buy signal is a combination of these methods under certain conditions. And if I do have to tell you anything about the algorithm at a somewhat lower level, then I find the populate buy trend function a particular interesting section. These populate buy trend methods and the various get buy signals are essential for determining when to execute a buy order based on the combination of technical indicators and conditions. This aggregates various buy signal conditions to determine the overall buy signal for the strategy. And it uses a logical OR to combine multiple buy signal conditions. And if any of these are true, then the method considers a, a buy signal. It also checks additional general conditions like the SSL up inf uh, being greater than uh, the SSL down inf, which indicates an upward SSL channel trend and the presence of an upward trend, uh, uptrend inf and a long go signal here. And if all these conditions are satisfied, then the method indicates a buy signal for the bot. Here in this section, each get buy signal method represents a specific buy strategy based on various technical indicators. And these methods also return a boolean value that indicates whether the conditions for that strategy are met. Now if you have watched some of my earlier videos, then you see here that a lot of names appear to look familiar. This is true since this method appears to have incorporated all these strategies into one super algo to create multiple buy signals depending on the specific strategy. And to give you one example here from the get buy signal awesome MACD, 
Here it combinates the MACD and awesome oscillator indicators. And when the buy signal is generated when both MACD and awesome oscillator are positive, uh, and the AO has just crossed from negative to positive here, then a buy signal would be generated. At least that is what I think the algo does by looking at this code. Now to proceed further in the code, here the populate sell trend method defines the selling conditions and it uses indicators like SSL channels and the Ichimoku to identify these sell signals. In this code there are also custom indicators used like the RMI, uh, SSL channels, ATR and SROC. And these are defined at the end of the script uh, and are used in these various buy and sell signal calculations. Now this is the part where the plot uh, is configured. And here is a small section where the strategy uses the informative pairs to fetch additional data from. Now I admit it is a very high level and very fast overview. But uh, overall, this is a comprehensive strategy that combines a variety of technical indicators and conditions to make buy and sell decisions. So as you can see, this code is not for the faint of heart. And you'll have to be an experienced coder to adjust uh, all the rules without breaking any code here. Again, my apologies for being a little bit quick here with this high level explanation. But I'm sure that you'll understand that nobody will watch a guy read out and explain over 800 lines of code in a video for hours and hours. And I actually think that most of you are just curious to see what the backtest results are uh, that I got from testing this algo on 50 cryptocurrency pairs over 4 years of backtesting data. So let's get right to it. If you have seen my earlier videos, then you'll probably know that I use a certain methodology for testing out all these algorithms. Otherwise, I cannot compare the end results between these strategies with each other. And this time, it is not different. Now, because this algo has an informative time frame on one hour, I could not test higher time frames than that, but I do not think that this would give me any better results. This algo is created to work best on the 15 minute time frame, and it sure does not disappoint there. And at first, I could not believe my eyes. I always thought that the results of the last tested obelisk Ichimoku Zema could not be beaten. How naive of me to think that. Apparently there are still hidden gems lying here and there on the internet to be discovered and this is one of them. This strategy could attain a theoretical 1 million dollars over the 15 minute backtesting period. Which is an absolute insane amount. It has a 75% win rate with an average 6 win streak over 2 losses after another. And with this you can believe that the Kalmar, Sortino, Sharp and other ratios are also off the charts. Also 80% of the trading pairs seem to respond well to this algo. And I will not even mention the insane amounts you hypothetically got when you traded on the other timeframes here. And therefore a little bit of a warning before I continue the story. It could be that this code greatly suffers from look ahead bias, which means that it can see into the future because of the full dataset it gets for backtesting. If the algo already knows this future information, it could act on this in the best possible way, like having a glass ball to look into the future, which under normal circumstances is not possible of course. But by just glancing over the code, uh, I cannot discover that and more investigations to find out if there is any look ahead bias is needed. Now of course you can also test this algo out by forward testing it by doing a dry run for a couple of weeks or months. And be aware that the moment you start a trading bot with this algo is also important and it could cause losses on the short term. But if you look at the way the account balance has been growing over the last couple of years, you could not tell that this specific algorithm suffers much from bear markets. Even at those moments the balance seems to be growing or at least not having a large drawdown. But it really takes off during the last bull run to an extreme height of over 1 million dollar. The really good win rate seems to play a big role in these profits. At the same moment the profit curves go parabolic, the amount of cumulative winning trades also rises, while the losing trade line stays relatively stable as well as the draws line. And because of this performance, the drawdown also stays relatively low. It has some peaks of over 8%, but on average the drawdown is around 3.5%. Another plot that I'd like to show here is the average profit line. 
Maybe I should not include the data before 2021 anymore in this plot because that is so low in comparison to the 2022 parabolic curve. But it uh, do show you how extreme the average and total weekly profits were in the last bull market. The average profit in this algo with my settings and crypto pairs was somewhat around $2,000. And at an extreme point, there were even weeks that this algo could attain $120,000 profit in these conditions. Now, who does not want to make almost three times a Dutch model's year's income in a week? But mind you, there are also losing weeks with extremes of $4,000 losses. The next chart I want to show you is the win-loss ratio. This chart shows you the weeks where there are wins in blue over the losses in red. And this chart is another view of the cumulative wins and losses chart I showed earlier, but here they are compared with each other. And in the previous chart I show you, you already saw that there were more wins than losses. However, in this graph I can point really well in which period the win rate was really good. And that was in the period just before the last bull market stop, where everything went parabolic. And also you can see on this graph that there were also weeks in 2019 with good win ratios. But these were not clearly visible in the previous charts. Now as you can understand by now, we have a very special trading strategy in our hands. One that performs well in bull markets and also in bear markets where the win rates are high and profitable and the losses sometimes occur and have almost no impact on our account balance. Comparing the performance of this algo with the earlier tested algos, especially the best one I found in 2023, it makes those profits seem like pocket money. The results of this algo uh, are even three times higher than the results of the number two on this list. And comparing the individual performance metrics between this algo and the previous results is making me think if I should use just another layout for this chart. Some of the other results are now barely visible on one of these plots. Look at the profit percentages plot for example. Maybe it is time that I make this one logarithmic. Now before I show you the position of this trading algorithm in the strategy league, I would first like to thank you for viewing my videos. I appreciate this very much. Hopefully I will bring you the content you are looking for. If you like this video, then smash the like button. And if you have found an algorithm and you want me to test this too, then add it to the comment section and I'll put it on the backlog. And I also saw that 65% of you viewers are not subscribed yet, so do not forget to subscribe as well. The YouTube algorithm and me will greatly appreciate this. And lastly, and maybe also the most important one, Please do not forget to show your appreciation to the original authors of these trading algorithms. I am just a guy that independently tests these algorithms and show you my results in these videos. It should be no surprise anymore that this algorithm takes up first spot in the strategy league. It has an insane score of 550 points and I'm wondering if I have to readjust the complete scoring mechanism again. But let's see that if I test other algo strategies later. The last couple of strategies I tested last year were absolute bangers, but this year also starts off with a smasher. Is it because of the coming bull run and is this a sign from above? Or do we just have plain luck here? Who knows? Anyway, as you have seen here, I have not been lying at the start of this video. And I believe that at this point you are already searching GitHub for this code to try this algo out for yourself. And if you do test this code on your setup, then please leave your results in the comment section to share them with the rest of the audience. I am very curious about other people's results. However, this is it for this video. Many thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!